So today we've got a foldable portable solar panel from Nerzivi. Nerzivi. Try to pronounce it. Nerzivi. Nerzivi. Well, let's open it up. Oh, we got the double box action. Well, you definitely can't say they didn't pack it well. So there is their main uh, little trunk cable. Looks like it's got multiple different types of connectors. Let's see, we've got a Anderson style with an XT60, and we've got a barrel plug. So those three will pretty much cover a lot of the different portable power stations. And then in this zipper, oh, there we go. There's the main cable. Okay, yeah, so that, that's basically your standard MC4 connectors. And so this cable just adapts into it like that. Clever, okay, that's good. And I like how they have this zipper pocket right here to keep everything in. Okay, it feels like a pretty high quality unit. Uh, does not feel junky at all. The zipper's really nice. It's got kind of one of those weatherproof like zipper things and just the material everything feels really good all right so i think this is held together there's a magnet in this handle that's pretty neat and there we go we can unfold it and there's the fully unfolded panel yeah it definitely feels pretty high quality and then it has on the back side some little kickouts for you to lean it all right well let's try it out all right guys so i got this thing set up it's a little overcast outside you know we we do have some hard shadows being casted so we we have some pretty decent solar radiation but uh, uh it's a little cloudy see the clouds there and i've got it propped up like this is not the greatest orientation we'll try it flat here in just a minute got it plugged into my licity you know we're getting a whole 1.4 amps worth the charging so 13.28 Plus one, now there's 1.5 amps. Let's do the math here. 13.29 times 1.5. We're getting a whole 19.9 watts. Let's uh, lay that thing flat. It'll be a better orientation. All right, that jumped up quite a bit. Got 2.6 amps right there. All right, well, we're doing 34.5. Oh, well, we, we're going up a little bit more. There's three. Doing almost 40 watts there. I want to try it on a different power station to see if we get any different results. Oh, we actually got 3.3 .3 on this one. 3.4. So we're hitting that 45 watts. All right, let me try this other power station. I'm gonna use the All Powers R600. All right, getting some charging. And uh, yeah, we're seeing 45 watts, 44, 45. So same result. I just saw 50 watts. Of course, that was off camera. Oh, there we are at 48. Okay, well there's 55 watts. We're still not perfectly overhead, as you can see the shadow here. I could probably prop it up just slightly. Let's see what that does. All right, let's see if that did anything. There we go. Now we're hitting 61. 60, 61 watts, 62. Yeah, I think uh, it's pretty reasonable to say that we probably would get around 70 watts with the perfect orientation to the sun and a whole lot less, you know, if we had a lot less clouds in the sky here. So for us to hit 60 watts out of a 100 watt panel with some chunky clouds up in the sky, a little bit of water haze, uh, I think that's pretty reasonable. All right, so let's think about the use case for this. What is this good for? I wouldn't consider this for any kind of off-grid. 
maybe emergency, but I would want something bigger, to be honest with you. I think this is for camping, some light outdoor stuff. If you need to charge up your power stations, this R600 from All Power actually will take up to 300 watts of solar. Uh, maybe even a better solution would be to have an sm even smaller power station like this PPS 320 from Energizer. It's kind of limited to about 68 or 70 watts input for the solar. So this would actually match up uh, perfectly with that portable solar panel. It's going to keep your small power stations charged up for you to be able to charge up your cell phones, your laptops, your portable devices, stuff like that. Maybe run a fan for a little bit, but not for very long. All right, guys, so I think that's going to be the end of the video, and I'll catch you on the next one.